Hey guys, Ruth the Lucario here, and I'm gonna show you, or I'm gonna talk to you, about how to avoid scams. Alright, first thing to do is to check for bad grammar, alright? A, a legit company will always tell, will always use good grammar, alright? Check for spelling errors in texts and See if the person actually speaks your language. You don't really have to go to the place they're at to know that they're not speaking English or whatever language your country is from. All right, number two, inform and educate small, small children about scams and keep an eye on them you can keep an eye on what they are doing on the computer if possible or at all times you don't know this but children are children under the age of 16 are more likely to how do I put this? Um, fall f for any type of scam because they have limited knowledge on how the world really works and how money and how money works. All right. Also, you should probably share this info about scams with other loved ones so they don't risk getting scammed either. Four, another way to avoid a scam is to never answer calls from a number you do not recognize. If it's a number you don't recognize, don't answer it. There's no point. Another way to avoid a scam is don't go clicking on random websites. Just because it's a website that claims it's something doesn't mean that it actually is. Another way to avoid scams is make sure that the person on, on the phone or whatever you're using to communicate with is actually doing the service they offer. Another way to avoid a scam, which works most of the time, is to do research on any scam. Look at reviews on on legit review websites and see if there's a one-star review and think there might be plenty more and keep looking if it's not a one star review and it's and you know it's a scam website then those are probably bots reviewing it all right number 8 don't trust strangers or whatever number we're on all right it's not best just to trust some random dude on the internet that says something. All right, Lack, actions speak louder than words. Another way is to inform, inform the proper authorities if you think you're about to be scammed. I'm sure the police would love to hear about such imposters.
And the final way I'm going to sh share, because I'm running out of time, is that don't let the stress get to you, all right? A lot of these scams nowadays prey on your stress, so you'll be stressed out enough to... actually give them money because you you don't you probably didn't know about this scam about the scam you are getting yourself victim to all right so i hope this helps you are great people and you do not deserve to be scammed by any means